Hey guys, welcome back to another review. This time we have a, well it says Bioshock, but this is definitely not a Bioshock figure. This is a figure from Resident Evil 5, and I think it's one of the bosses. So yes, stay tuned. Um, let's get this guy out. Right. Okay, so here's him out of packaging. Uh, oh, just before I continue, I didn't really get to show you the back of the box. So, I'll show you that. So, it just has a nice depiction of him holding the hammer. And then, there's the blur. So, if you want to pause that to read that, you can. Um, this guy's from a Capcom universe, actually. So, that's kind of interesting. You might be able to see him in one of the uh, Capcom versus Marvels or something like that. So, that I think this guy would be pretty cool to... Um, use, with, especially with this huge hammer axe thing that he's got going on. That being said, I already have a gripe about this uh, action figure. He is extremely hard to pose because his axe is so over oversized and overweighted, even though the axe head is quite, um, it's not heavy, um, but it still is quite, no, if you try and move him just slightly down, he's going to He's going to topple over, so I have to sort of balance him um, backwards and maybe a little bit to the side. Maybe not. Well, here we go. So, yeah, as you can see, he really does want to topple over. But maybe you have the axe on the ground. Um, yeah, there we go. So, I'll push it down just so you can see that. So yeah, if you have the axe on the ground, there you go. Um, that will uh, help you a lot. I guess you could have him dragging it behind him or something. Maybe the hammer, you know. You can have it set up whatever the way you want. I just think it's a really cool figure. I'll, I'll bring him up to camera a little bit more so you can... There we go. Um, so he has a lot of nails in his face, heaps of blood all down his... Uh, what's it called? Oh, I can't remember what these things are called. Aprons, that's it. And then um, on his back, he has some butcher hooks. And then he's done something. He's done, I think he might have had a big pimple. And then he just thought he might stick some nails in his back to try and get the pus out. But that didn't really work. So, yeah, no, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just fucking with you guys. Oh, it's gone over, out of focus again. Hey, oh. Oh, let's see if we can get it back in focus. There you go. Okay, so now you can really see the detailings of all the little stitches and everything. So, he does have some really good detailing on him, this figure. <clears throat> I think I played the game once or twice, but I didn't really get up to the point of seeing this guy. And I sort of thank God I didn't, because that would be fucking terrifying, I reckon, going up against this guy. I think I will probably get... The other two figures of the wave, eventually, which is the people you play as. Um, but yeah, maybe I can get him with you. Sorry guys, I'll just take him off screen for a sec, just so I can maybe get him. Oh wow, so he actually does pop off. So he is on a peg, so that's something interesting. On a bowl joint for his torso. That being said, this guy, I think, is a cheap Chinese knockoff. But, that being said, you wouldn't notice if you had, you know, if you had the real one with you. And then you have this guy next to him, it would be quite hard to know which one is the one that's the knockoff. Oh god, I think I just snapped off one of his things. Oh god. Being too rough with this figure will... Uh, so there you go, you can see I have already broken him by, if it will focus, focus, there we go, so now you can see right here, uh, I have broken off a piece from here, unfortunately, we have too much force on these things, they are fragile, so taking him and make sure you're not holding any part of him that has any of those, uh, what are they called? 
nails or anything, be careful because obviously I just did break one. Luckily, I have that many figures nowadays that this doesn't really worry me anymore. Um, but yeah, okay, so I think you can get him set up so he's doing a big yeah, overswing. So that looks cool. So he's got his axe up in the air and stuff. So, um, yeah, overall figure, I'll probably give this guy uh, uh, 6.5 out of 10 in figure-wise. It's detailing is definitely one of the most things that give it that as its total. Really nice. No articulation in the legs, I might add. He is fixed in that area. Sort of reminds me a little bit of... Um, I have a 12 inch um, leather face and he has the same sort of thing going on as this guy. So yeah, I think it's their interpretation of maybe leather face with something else. Really cool. I really like this review. Um, this figure is, <laughs> right, I like this review. <laughs> I like this figure. It's a cool figure and he will definitely be going in my uh, horror section. So yes, um, leave a comment, review. Um, hope you guys have a good day. Alright, see ya.